So the Georgia Bulldogs have a big time, possibly game changing player on the roster. And I don't see a whole lot of people talking about him. So we're going to do that today. I'm talking about running back Roderick Robinson, a big six foot, 240 pound running back that I think is going to have a very solid and significant sophomore season in 2024 for a lot of reasons, right? I'm not just taking this, you know, take and throwing it out there, hoping it sticks, right? I truly believe this young man uh, could make a big impact for Georgia next year in his second year as a running back. And the first example of why is because when Georgia had their spring break a couple weeks ago, you know, Roderick Robinson could have gone back to LA where he's from, San Diego, spent the week with his family, could have gone down to Florida to vacation and have a fun spring break, you know, at the beach. But instead, he stayed in town and worked with Brad Lester, who was a former Auburn running back, I believe, in the mid-2000s. And they're out there working. They're out there grinding, trying to get better before Roger Robinson started spring practice, which, of course, is going on right now. So, you know, I saw that, and I you know, hit up Brad like I do, an insider. I know these trainers. I know these coaches. I know these people who are working with these Georgia players. I said, Brad, you know, what? how is he looking, first of all? What makes him a possible breakout candidate? What makes him special? What type of running back can Georgia fans expect out of him uh, in year two? And this is what he had to say uh, as I pull up my notes. I said, you know, what are y'all working on right now uh, to help prepare him for the spring and next season? He said, the biggest thing that we're working on is creating more open field moves at the second level. He already has all the tools of a Derrick Henry type of runner. Again, he's 240 pounds. But adding three to four moves that he is comfortable with in one-on-one -on -one situations will make him almost unstoppable versus safeties. Uh, and Brad Lester was a good running back. You know, he wasn't Ronnie Brown, Cadillac Williams or anything, but the guy knows what he's doing. He wasn't the biggest or the fastest, but he knew how to make defenders miss in the open field. And if Roderick Robinson, uh, who could play early, I mean, again, Trevor Etienne might have to miss a game or two for uh, the driving arrest. Probably should, if we're being honest. Um, Branson Robinson is still not 100%. Andrew Paul had a significant knee injury um, a year and a half ago. So Roger Robinson, if he's healthy at 240 pounds, if he learns how to, you know, get some wiggle, a little shake and bake, and he starts breaking some ankles uh, from linebackers and safeties at the next level, he's going to have a big season. Again, if you're teaching a 240 pound back, you know, better footwork and the ability to stop on a dime and make guys miss instead of just trucking through them like a giant bowling ball, which is what he did against Florida State, by the way. Had a season high 70 yards, I believe, on just seven carries, averaging 10 yards a carry, just putting his shoulder into those poor Florida State Seminoles who wanted no part. They were down by 100 points. Georgia brings in Roderick Robinson, who's just barreling through these dudes. 10 yards, 10 yards, 10 yards. Um, Florida State doesn't want any part of Roger Robinson this upcoming season. I said he is big and he rushed for a million yards in high school. He's a legend in San Diego. I mean, nobody out there could tackle this guy before he got to Georgia. And I said, you know, how many guys can run the way you want him to, Brad, at 240 pounds? How many backs are out there who can do that? He said, the ones I've worked with in the past that fit his size and style would be Najee Harris, who I think is still with the Steelers. He's kind of slow now. I mean, he's, he's past his prime. And he said, maybe Kendall Milton. Brad Lester works with Kendall Milton, too. He also helped train Dejan Edwards before um, the combine and before Georgia's pro day. So he's been working with three Georgia running backs. You know, two of them were obviously off to the NFL um, but Brad Lester it, it was training Roger Robinson and I reached out to him weeks ago. I said, Hey, you know, I'm trying to learn more about Roger Robinson. You're working with him. What can I expect? And he didn't really get back to me. Um, until like two weeks later, he told me, he said, I'm going to answer your questions. Uh, you know, this is a big time back. I want to help you out with your story, uh, which you can probably read on dog post in a couple days. I got to type all this up. Um, but as I lose train of thought, um, completely, completely lost train of thought. Um, so let's go back to um, uh, the words that are in front of me here. Uh, he said, I didn't really get to work with Najee until this season uh, before his senior year, and I haven't worked with him since, honestly, but I can tell a difference since he hasn't worked with me, which is um, kind of funny he said that. But he said, our goal with Roger Robinson is to create habits of setting up defenders in the second half of games with open field moves. 
punish and bruise for two to three quarters as they start to wear down, and that's when you expose their flaws as true tacklers would. Uh, come into play as starters work in movements later in the games. I don't exactly um, know what he was trying to say there, but he said, as a running back, it's important to read the defense to pick up tendencies and weaknesses as the game is going. Then take advantage of what you know after halftime so it's not much time for adjustments. Um, and that's all great, uh, but Roger Robinson is going to share the load. This is not <laughs> a situation where he's got to put the team on his back, You know, do what you can in the first half, learn from it, adjust in the second half. I mean, you're running. You can figure out the defensive tendencies and which guy likes to tackle low, which guy likes to tackle high, which guy can over-pursue, uh, which guys can you outrun, which guys do you know you can run over. There's there's a lot of variables to it. So there's there's not just quick adjustments. At the end of the day, if there's no hole to run through, there's no hole to run through. And if there is a hole to run through, I can run through it. But, you know, with... With guys like Trevor Etienne possibly sitting out and with the other guys banged up, and you've got the three freshmen coming in, but I do think Roger Robinson is a candidate to have a breakout season. Again, not because he's working with Brad Lester and he continues to improve. And I've got more quotes uh, in here as well, uh, but maybe I'll have y'all read those over on Dog Post. But you know, Georgia's offensive line is really good. I've talked about that for a, a while. Multiple videos, I think, have talked about how they might be the best offensive line in football. Carson Beck might be one of the best quarterbacks in college football. They've got receivers. They've got running backs. It's not like they're asking this kid to, okay, dude, we're going to give you the ball 30 times. You're 240 pounds. Just, just run through everyone for 60 minutes, and you know we'll, we'll try to win the, gap, the game that way. No, I mean, he's going to have some help, whether it is uh, healthy or you know reinstated Trevor Etienne, who I still think is going to be the, the number one option. If Branson Robinson's healthy, he's going to get the ball. Nate Frazier is a dude. That is a dog. If you don't know who that is, uh, you don't follow recruiting, that's okay. He's an incoming freshman from California who checks every box. I think he could be the next great Georgia running back um, who brings a level of speed and um, explosiveness that maybe a guy like Roderick, Roderick Robinson at 240 doesn't have. So they've got lots of running backs. They're not just going to use one. So um, we'll see if they use him, you know, in – a regular form during a regular game instead of, you know, third and short, fourth and short, fourth and goal, second and goal, whoever. It's, he's not just a short down and distance guy. He's a guy who can break a tackle at the line of scrimmage, break another tackle five yards down the field and take off for 15, 20 yards. Uh, and he is great in short, you know, short yardage situations because he is big and thick and naturally just, you know, falls forward at the end of runs. I mean, he's an, uh, a yards after contact guy. And Georgia should be getting him the ball. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, and he ran hard last year when he did get in. Um, he had a lot of guys in front of him, but I think he was the team's leading rusher against uh, the great Ball State whoever's. Um, he had like 35 yards or something like that. But you know, he, he ran through Florida State. He appeared in five games, uh, was third on the team in rushing last year, so 196 yards. Uh, two touchdowns, uh, rushed for 50 yards on eight carries, adding a touchdown in the season opening victory against UT Martin, rushed for a team high 38 yards on one touchdown, one touchdown against Ball State. Uh, and then again, seven carries, 70 yards against Florida State. And I remember watching that from uh, the press box. My story was halfway written at the time because Georgia beat Florida State by 500 points. But, you know, they were giving him the rock at the end of the game and he's just bowling through guys. And I remember, okay, Matt, mental note, put it down here. Watch this kid. If he continues to impress and maybe drops a little bit of weight, I mean, you don't necessarily want him to get any heavier right now. He is a bigger back and a guy that you need. Uh, you don't need speed from him because they've got guys like Nate Frazier and Dwight Phillips, um, but they've got more size at running back than speed. Uh, but Brad Lester thinks uh, very highly of Roderick Robinson. And then again, if he can teach Roderick some moves some wiggle at the next level. If he can run through two guys and then make a safety or cornerback, you know, just, just make him miss, break his ankles and keep running. This guy's going to be tough, tough to deal with. And he could be a very huge weapon in the third quarter, fourth quarter. And again, that's what Brad said. We want to wear down a defense. No linebacker wants to tackle a 240 pound back multiple times a game over and over and over. It, it's, it's, that's bruising. That's exhausting. No one wants to do that, 
especially in the fourth quarter when you've already got bruises on your chest and on your arms tackling this guy and all the other Georgia uh, backs for three quarters. Um, but, you know, Roger Robinson, it might be one of the toughest to tackle, um, especially late in the game when he's just wearing on you. So that's what this Auburn, former Auburn running back had to say uh, about Georgia's backup, possibly game-changing type of running back in Roger Robinson. Thanks for um, watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. You can read all of this and more over on Dog Post. You can do that by signing up to our free newsletter. That link is down below. It's free to sign up. It's free to read a lot of stories on Dog Post. And um, yeah, hope you check it out on the website. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on Dog Post.